sunny skies of blue. Clouds have drifted by and the sun peeps through. May express happiness. Joy you can define in a thousand ways. But a case like mine needs a special phrase to reveal how I feel. I got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. Got the string around my finger. What a world, what a life. I'm in love. a beautiful thing long as I hold the string I'd be a silly so and so if I should ever let go I got the world on a string sitting on a rainbow got the string around my finger what a world what a life I'm in may be sunny uh, with never a sigh uh, who needs what money can buy birds in the trees sing their day full of song uh, why can't we sing along I'm chipper all the day uh, happy with my lot how do I get that way look at all I got I got rhythm I got music I got my who could ask for anything more? I got daisies in green pastures. I got my gal who could ask for anything more. Old man trouble, I don't mind him. You won't find him around my door. I got starlight, I got sweet dreams. I got my gal who could ask for anything more. Welcome, it's Thursday, July 22nd. This is the 56th episode of Billy's Place. I'm your host, Billy Stritch. And tonight, it's another one of my warm requests and cool rosé shows in which I get a chance to sing some of the songs you've requested over the past few weeks. It's fun for me, and I hope it's fun for you. I hope you like the set tonight. I'm thrilled that 
that you're here. Stick around for the next hour. I think you'll like some of the songs I've chosen. Just parking at Billy's Place. That first song, I've Got the World on a String, was a request. My friend Suzanne Singer requested that. And I do that, as you could tell, in a medley with I Got Rhythm. And uh, that medley I've been doing a long time. It's uh, actually recorded on my, my third CD that I made back in the year 2000. It's called Jazz Live. And uh, I've got a few copies available here if you want to go on my website and, and check that out and order one. I've got like five left. Honestly, literally, that's what I have. But it's fun. Thank you for that request. This next one was requested by my friend Terry Paris. And it's a great Duke Ellington song. I sang it a few months ago when I did a lot of Duke stuff, and uh, I'm happy to bring it, bring it back tonight. Do nothing till you hear from me. Pay no attention to what's said. Why people tear the seam of anyone's dream is over. until you hear it from me at least consider a romance if you should take the word of others you've heard I haven't a chance true I've been seen with some does that mean that I've been untrue when we're apart? The words in my heart reveal how I feel about you. Some kiss may cloud my memory, and other arms may hold a thrill. But please do nothing till you hear. Duke Ellington and the lyrics by Bob Russell. Do nothing till you hear from me. That was another request. How's everybody doing this week? I'm fine. We had a nicer day today here in New York. It's been so brutally hot the last few days. Actually, I'm getting kind of warm just singing in, in the apartment, but uh, it actually was nicer today, and I'm so happy to be here tonight singing for you. It was a good week, actually. Sunday, I don't know if you saw, 
but uh, a lot of you I know watch the CBS Sunday morning show at, uh, on, on uh, Sunday mornings, and uh, there was a wonderful feature about my friend Marilyn May, the great legendary Marilyn May, who's been my friend now for 41, 42 years, and I was featured in it. It was so nice because uh, they filmed it a couple of months ago when we did an engagement down at the Wick Theater in Boca Raton, and um, Mo Rocca did the interview. He did a nice sit down with me, and you know, you never know if those things, how much of it is gonna, you know, how it's gonna turn out, you never know. And they did an absolutely fantastic job. Mo and his uh, producer, Mary Lou Teal, and the whole staff did a terrific job. Um, and I got a chance, of course, to tell the world how much Marilyn means to me and uh, how much fun we have together. And gosh, she's amazing, 93 and still going strong. So if you didn't get a chance to see that, go on their website, the CBS Sunday Morning, and it's also on YouTube. You can watch the whole feature. It's about seven minutes, but it's really great, and I was just so thrilled to be a part of it. Um, the uh, other thing I wanted to say was that um, last week, you know, I announced that I had a single uh, version of Ordinary Miracles, which was a cut from my album, Billy's Place, uh, a single version with a, with a 47-piece, 46-piece symphony, and uh, it was to be released on all the streaming platforms last Friday. And so lo and behold, I go Friday morning, and I go and listen to it and think, wait, that doesn't sound right. And then I got an email from uh, Mary, a Mary Alice at the record company saying, here's what happened. Uh, Virgin, which I guess is the company that releases all the, releases the, the track to all the streaming platforms, they released the wrong one. They released the one that was already out, just me and the piano, which is fine, but it wasn't the symphony mix. So, you know, put on the brakes. Um, I was going to make a big announcement. It was going to drop on Friday. Well, it didn't drop on Friday, but it is, it is out there now. Uh, they got it. It took a few days. They got it worked out. If you go to Apple Music, all the streaming platforms of uh, iTunes and uh, uh, Napster and Pandora and all that stuff, it's called Ordinary Miracles Symphony Mix, and it's Billy Stritch, and uh, it's three minutes. A gr gorgeous tune by Alan and Marilyn Bergman and... Uh, Marvin Hamlish, and so please uh, give that a listen, download that if you can. Also, the whole album, Billy's Place, which came out last year, uh, has some great tunes, a couple of originals. The Billy's Place theme is on it, and uh, my song, Since You Left New York, that I co-wrote with Sandy Knox, and some great standards, and toward the end of the show, I'm going to do a song that's on the album. Uh, if you go to my website, billystritch.com, you can find the album and also all the Billy's Place merchandise that we sell every week. The caps, the t-shirts, the long sleeve t-shirts, the wine totes, uh, the regular totes, uh, all the stuff that you need for your, for your summer outing. I'm telling you, it's great stuff. Wine tumblers, all stuff that you could take to the pool or take to the beach. And uh, it's got the Billy's Place logo. So go to the, go to the uh, website, go to the merchandise store and check all that out. I'd be most grateful. And last but not least, uh, well, actually, two more things. My YouTube channel, Billy Stritch. Uh, please, when you get a chance, go there and subscribe to it. We're up to 752 subscribers. Not that I'm counting, but uh, I, my goal was to hit 1,000 by the end of May. I don't think I made it. But if you can spread the word, all you have to do is press the red button to subscribe. Uh, and I actually released a couple. All these shows go on there, but I actually released a a, n a new uh, clip from Bucks County Playhouse of me singing Since You Left New York just a couple of days ago and the week before me singing a song called No Moon At All. So I'm trying to add content from time to time. Obviously, all, th all these shows are there, all 56. But who's counting? I'm counting. Uh, and right now on Facebook, if you'll hit the share button uh, right below the screen and share it with your friends who are watching. And last but not least, if you're able to contribute to the virtual tip jar, it really is so appreciated. I mean, I'm able now to get out and work. Monday nights, we're working at Birdland, but it's still not back, people. It's still not all the way back. And you know, I've made a decision to kind of keep doing these shows along with my partner and producer, Doug, so that we can keep bringing the music to people who aren't in New York. You know, I love this idea of uh, being able to perform for you virtually. So if you're if you're enjoying it and uh, you're sitting at home with your glass of rosé, which 
I hope you are cool, cool rosé or uh, anything. If you're just relaxed at home and if you're able to throw me 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, a million, uh, you can do that through PayPal or Venmo. And those addresses are at the bottom of the screen. And thank you so much for those of you that have tipped me regularly. I really, really appreciate you. You know I write you back to thank you, and you know how much it means to me. So, uh, and if you don't want to use those, uh, those, those apps, you can write me on Facebook Messenger. I'll send you my address, and you can send a check, and that always is good, too. So, all right, here we go. Answer the request. My friend Cliff, Clifton Jones, who I have known since we were eight years old, something crazy like that, a long, long time, um, and he's a fabulously talented uh, musical arranger, orchestrator and arranger. Um, and uh, he requested uh, some Jobim, which is always a good idea. Before I sing it, I want to give a big shout out to his mom, Betty, Betty Verdino, who I know watches me a lot of times with my mom. They get together, Betty and Jane get together and watch the show some Thursday nights. And Betty, if you're watching, I know it's your birthday. I'm wishing you the happiest birthday. I love you. You're like my second mom. And uh, so happy, happy birthday to you. And uh, Cliff, this is for you. A couple of Jobim songs that I really love. Well, there's no Jobim songs that I don't love, but. Uh <laughs> Quiet nights of quiet stars, quiet chords from my guitar, floating on the silence that surrounds us. Quiet thoughts and quiet dreams, quiet walks by quiet streams, and a window looking on the mountains and the sea. This is where I want to be, here with you, so close to me, until the final flicker of life's ember. I, who was lost and lonely, believing life was only a bitter, tragic joke, have found the you.
Meditating how sweet life will be when you come back to me. Two by Joe Beam, Corcovado, otherwise known as Quiet Nights of Quiet Stars, and Meditation, which I love, which uh, actually, guys, I recorded that on my very first CD back in 1992, um, and uh, if you can find that, good luck, because that's long out of print, but that's been one of my, my favorite songs. Okay, Marcia Sander, uh, who I know from St. Louis, we did the St. Louis Cabaret Conference several times together. And uh, she requested a couple of songs. They couldn't be more different from each other. But I thought, oh, I thought about doing one. And then I thought, well, I like them both, so I'm going to do them both kind of back to back. Uh, the first one is a song written by Dave Frischberg. Who doesn't love Dave Frischberg? I mean, I should actually do a lot more of his stuff, and I will in the weeks to come. Because I haven't really done, I can't remember if I've done anything of his uh, in Billy's Place. So uh, this will be a first. Uh, and the melody is by a uh, great uh, sax player, Al Cohn. Uh, so Dave Frischberg took that uh, jazz song and put these lyrics to it. I heard Dave sing this one night at Pizza on the Park in London many, many years ago, this wonderful club downstairs with, it, it was all dark with pen spots, and he got up to the piano, and I think he opened with this, which was kind of a wonder wa wonderful way to set the tone. <laughs> It's called I Can't Take You Nowhere. It's about somebody maybe we all have known at one point or another. You knock back the schnapps, you talk back to cops, you walk in the room and conversation stops. I can't take you nowhere. I can't take you nowhere. You stagger, you sag, you're half in the bag. One glass of beer and you're a total drag. I can't take you nowhere. I can't take you nowhere. I buy three or four, you mooch plenty more. The check comes around and you were out the door. I can't take you nowhere. I can't take you nowhere. are disgusted with your attitude. I can't take you nowhere. I can't take you nowhere. You mumble, you moan, you grumble, you groan. You called Honolulu on my telephone. I can't take you nowhere. I can't take you nowhere. I hear people say you won't go away. You stop by for breakfast and you stay all day. I can't take you nowhere. Huh? I can't take you nowhere. That's right. Try not to get 
get uptight, but I can't take you nowhere, cause I don't know a place where you can show your face, and anyway, I'd just like to say, so sad to say you must be on your way, so have a real nice day, but I can't take you nowhere, cause I don't know a place where you can show your face, and anyway, I'd just like to say, so sad to say you must be on your way, what a pity to say so long. Can't take you nowhere. We, we've all met that person, right? Uh, great, great Dave Frischberg song. My favorite line is, you called Honolulu on my telephone. Of course, when the song was written, that would have been a real, real problem. Um, it's still kind of rude if you don't ask, you know, to make long distance calls. Um, anyway, thank you, Marsha. That was your first request. And here's your second request. As I said, it couldn't be more different from the first one. Beautiful song written by Boss Gags. Um, I was thrilled. I was in uh, San Francisco playing Nico, the, uh, the Feinsteins at the Nico, two years ago with my buddy Clint Holmes doing our Nat King Cole show that we did a couple of weeks ago at the Wick Theater. And uh, we do the show, and, and then I'm, uh, you know, I go to the bar out front, and the, 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 the our sound and light guy, Michael, uh, came up to me and said, you know, my, my pal is here, my pal Boz is here. Well, I'm like, okay. And he wants to meet you, wants to say hi, so he kind of leads me over there into the lounge, kind of in a corner, and uh, it's Boz Skaggs, and he had seen the show, and we didn't know he was in the audience, which was just as well, because it would have made us very nervous. Uh, and you know, it's just somebody I've loved ever since that album, Silk Degrees, came out when I was in high school, and uh, I just thought he was the coolest. I still think he's the coolest. He's done, he's done two or three albums with standards that are just fantastic. And he's got such a great voice. And he couldn't have been nicer. So how great is that? So this is a song he wrote. He had a hit with this. And also Rita Coolidge had a big hit with this. This takes me right back, right back to um, the early 80s. <laughs> Outside the rain begins And it may never end So cry no more on the shore A dream will take us out to sea Let it out, let it out. 
window come the light and it will be back. I swear I loved him. I still love him, but I was so into Boz Skaggs. Thank you, Marsha, for those two great requests. Wonderful, wonderful. If you're just joining us, it's Billy's Place, episode 56, my warm request and cool rosé show. So uh, cheers, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, lots more good songs to come. Uh, if you're able to tip, as I mentioned before, you can do it on PayPal or Venmo, the PayPal address is bstritch at yahoo.com, and the Venmo is at billy-stritch. So feel free to uh, go there and uh, show me some love. Thank you so much. Uh, the next song was one that I did about a month ago when I did my Jerry Herman show. So many of you gave me such great feedback on that. Really one of the more popular Billy's Place episodes, uh, certainly of this year. Um, anyway, this was a song that was from a musical that I loved called A Day in Hollywood, A Night in the Ukraine. And my friend Ray Stewart, who's a fantastic actor, character actor, you've seen him on loads of television shows and in theater, and he's living down in South Texas. He's basically retired now, but uh, look him up because you know, you'll see his face and you go, oh, that guy you know, is one of these people that has been in so many things. Anyway, we became friends through my friend Jackie Joseph, Jackie Joseph Lawrence, told Ray about Billy's Place, and so we correspond. And after I sang this song, he wrote me the nicest note, and he said, you know, that song is exactly my childhood. It's exactly what happened to me when I was young, uh, because it's all about the movies, and when he was a kid, he would escape and go to the movies and see all those wonderful, iconic people on the big screen, and that's what... Uh, you know, got him interested in showbiz for better or for worse, in his case, for better. So so I told him, he said, listen, anytime you want to sing that song again, please feel free. So, you know, why not? It's today's the day. Follow me down the aisle of the Grommet Chinese Theater a colossal architectural sensation. From the plush of your seat in the Grauman's Chinese theater, life can be as plush as your imagination. So if your entertainment's your style, follow me, I have two on the aisle. Just go to the movies, just go to a picture show. Oh, and your morale needs some repairs. Watch Busby's beauties descending the stairs. Hundreds of girls doing high kicks. Just go to the movies, just go to the flicks. And all for the song. Is peachy, you can become Alice Faye or Donna Michi. Swamped with your bills, late with your rent. Watch Betty Davis run out on George Brent. See Fred Astaire stepping in style when everything's dark and upset. 
go calling on Clark and Claudette. Just go to a marvelous movie and smile. Girls in sarongs, monsters in capes. See Scarlet make a dress out of the drapes. Life can be grand from the third row. Just go to the movies. Just go to a picture show. Oh, Cooper in wings, Crawford in rain. See Tarzan beat his chest when he meets Jane. Sing with Dick Powell, ride with Tom Mix. Just go to the movies. Just go to the flicks vicariously. Flying down to Rio, share the marquee with Mrs. Marx's zany trio. So when your life seems a bit lean, just let some shadows appear on the screen. Shine like a star for a brief while. Whenever you're down in the dumps, try putting on Judy's red pumps. Just go to a marble this movie and smile shine like a star for a brief while whenever you're down in the dumps try putting on judy's red pumps and visit a gun toting sharpie a mop eating harpy a dangerous beauty, a cupid or cutie, an ancient high lama, a high stepping mama. Just go to a marvelous movie and smile. That's for you, Ray, and for all of you. From a great show, a day in Hollywood, a night in Ukraine. I saw that show at the Royale Theater on Broadway on my very first trip to New York in 1981, 40 years ago. It was the most charming show ever. Those of you who saw it will agree. Uh, it was just beautiful. The first half was ushers singing about movies in the Grauman's Chinese Theater, and the second half was a brilliant takeoff, a spoof of a Marx Brothers movie, all played by the same cast. Uh, someday they'll bring it back, because it's the kind of show I love, just pure fun and escape for two hours. You don't have to think about anything hard. I mean, I like shows with a message, but I like sometimes I like just to like go in and forget about everything, too. I know you do, too. So Andrea Levitt-Baum always is after me to do uh, Candor and Ebb. And uh, so she requested, gave me a couple of choices. And um, I did a show about Candor and Ebb about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And this is one of the, one, this is the one I chose from her list. Um, from another show that I saw, oh, I didn't even think about this, it's on that same first trip to New York, Lauren Bacall in Woman of the Year at the Palace Theater with Harry Gardino. And this is a song that he sings, uh, it's just a beautiful ballad that he sang in the second act. Uh, one of their most gorgeous songs, it's called Sometimes a Day Goes By. This is for you, Andrea. <laughs> Sometimes a day goes by, one whole entire day, when I don't think of her. 24 hours pass, I look around and find that I haven't thought of her, not even when I'm somewhere to go, not even if it's someone we used to know. It's hardly every day, it's most unusual, in fact, I can't remember when, but sometimes a day goes by when I don't till morning comes and then there she is
it's hardly every day it's most unusual in fact I can't remember when but someday a day goes by when I don't think of her till morning comes and then there she is again Moment of the Year by John Kander and Fred Ebb. Uh, God, I remember that so well. Um, and, you know, I was uh, it was 80, I was 19 years old. My first trip to New York, I saw eight shows in seven days, something crazy like that. Uh, good shows, Lena Horne, Lady and Her Music, Elizabeth Taylor and the Little Foxes. And it was a great lineup of shows. Never having any idea that one day I would know John Kander and Fred Ebb. I mean, you know, two incredibly talented and wonderfully su supportive, sweet guys working with Fred Ebb on many Liza Minnelli projects and just the way he could make us all laugh so much. He was the funniest guy ever. And John is just brilliant. Well, they're both brilliant. So uh, anyway, I've certainly been blessed in uh, getting a chance to know some of these wonderful people. I got to say, it's just been great. Andrea, thank you so much for that request. How are we doing over there, Doug? Good. We have good, good, nice people watching. All of, our crew are here. All of our regular, our, crowd our crowd is here. I like the Billy's Place crowd is here. I like it. So, <laughs> and there, as Lauren Bacall would say, it's decaffeinated, because you know she did the commercials for High Point. Someday I'm going to get Doug on camera and he's going to do his Lauren Bacall decaffeinated. Um, he's going to do all four commercials for you because it's always good for laughs. Uh, anyway, the sticks on our Doug's friend Betsy, and now she's my friend now, uh, requested this one. I'm, this is the only one that I'm a little leery of because, uh, gosh, I, I, it would never occur to me to sing this myself, but I love it. Um, and <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do the end because everybody knows how the end of this song goes, but I don't have the range to sing the end. This is a song Julie Andrews made famous in the film Victor Victoria, which I love. And uh, it's called Led Jazz Hot. Everybody knows the song. And uh, then, of course, she did it on Broadway. And then later into the run, when she was having vocal distress, Liza took over, over her on Broadway, which caused Liza vocal distress. I mean, the kind of, you know, being, having to talk, talk like this and then sing up here uh, is not good for anybody. And uh, so it, it wasn't good for Julie. It wasn't good for Liza. It's a very hard role to sing and, 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 and do eight times a week. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. But it was great fun to see. Anyway, Betsy requested this. I, you know, I'll give it a shot. To, but uh, ain't no way I'm going to top Julie Andrews, that's for sure. ago, way down in New Orleans, a group of fellas find a new kind of music, and they decided to call it jazz. No other sound has what this music has. Before they knew it, it was whizzing round ready for a blue kind of music and now they play it from steamboat springs to la paz <laughs> oh baby 
such as hush, baby, and don't ever let it end. I tell you, friend, it's really something to hear. I can't get sit still when there's that rhythm near me. chest hot baby what's holding my soul together don't know whether it's morning or night only know it's sounding right so come on in and play me the chest hot baby cause I I'll try anything once. I, it sounded better in rehearsal. Oh, you gotta get a good breath for that. But no one really ever wants to hear me sing that note. And so no one shall ever hear it again. Did Jim say, take your hair. Did Jim say that? Hair. Take my hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, because that's what she does. She takes the hair off. She <laughs> takes that bow and then she takes the hair off. Thanks, Jim. Aren't you, ha aren't, aren't, you, aren't you glad you caught me singing that? It's good. Maybe I'll do that at cast party on Monday. Maybe not. Okay, so I'm fearless, man. You know, it's a request. That's the time to do it. Betsy, that's for you. I hope you're I hope you're happy. Is she clapping along? Good. She doesn't have to clap. She's all happy. She doesn't have to do the end. I'm just well, kidding. you know, it's it's kind of weird to get there and then just like cop out on it. But, you know, uh, clearly I can't I can't do it. So, you know. But I, I know she said I didn't have to do the end, but you know. That's what that's what a half a glass of rosé will do for you. Sing me in. Oh, no, don't ever do that again. Oh. So my friend Eddie requested this great uh, Peter Allen song. Uh, about a year ago, I did a Peter Allen show at Billy's place. I loved him so much. I loved his music so much. So I'm I'm gonna do more than one song. I'm actually gonna do three songs. The first and the third were songs that he wrote. The second one is a standard that he liked to sing a lot. So um, anyway, this is a beautiful song that he wrote with uh, Carol Bayer Sager. It's called I'd Rather Leave While I'm In Love. Somebody's heart gets broken, usually it's mine. 
I don't want to take a chance on being hurt again. And you and I can't say goodbye. So if you leave and find me gone, carry on. You see, I need my fantasy. I still believe. It's best to leave while I'm in times I've seen the rose die on the vine. Somebody's heart gets broken. Usually it's mine. I don't want to take a chance on being hurt again. And you and I can't say goodbye. So if you wake and find me carry on you see I need my fantasy I still believe it's best to leave while I'm in love I still believe it's best to leave This next one is a standard, as I said, uh, written by Harry Warren, and it's for my friend Judy Reinecke, uh, who requested this. Um, this is one Peter Allen recorded early on in his career, and uh, mostly he did his own material, but uh, this was a standard that he always did a nice job with. This is called The More I See You. <laughs> Won't free you, my 
I See You, great song. That's for you, Judy. Uh, this next Peter Allen and Carol Bayer Sager song is one that I recorded on my album, Billy's Place, which uh, you've seen. I'll hold it up one more time. Uh, when I did the, uh, the Peter Allen show, um, when I announced it a year ago, my friend Daniel Datzer uh, out in L.A. said, you, are you gonna, you're, you've got to do Planes, aren't you? And I didn't know it. And uh, so I listened to it and immediately I, I loved it. And it resonated so much because it was, you know, last June probably. And, uh, you know, it's all about flying. You'll see. But it really had a resonance because nobody was flying or going any anywhere. And so it, it, it had a particular meaning for me when I sang it last year and when I recorded it. And I think it still does. You know, I'm, I'm we're, we're opening up again. I mean, I've, I've been on a few plane trips uh, lately, and uh, it's crowded again. People are, are flying again. It's definitely back to full-on travel. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. Everyone's wearing a mask, which is a good thing. Um, you know, it's, it's weird. I mean, I don't want to get too into it, but everything's opened up so fast. So, you know, it's uh, considering what we just went through, it seems awfully strange that we're all kind of getting back to normal so quickly. But anyway, I'm flying out on Saturday to go do a show in California at the Segerstrom uh, Performing Arts Center in Costa Mesa with my dear friend Ann Hampton Calloway. Uh, Sunday matinee, we're doing a show. It's the Linda Ronstadt Songbook. And it's a show that we have done, we did, did quite a lot before the pandemic. Uh, great material, and it's great. I get to sing a lot with Ann on the show. And it's the first show in their big theater uh, back inside uh, since the pandemic. So we're excited about that. So I'm flying away on Saturday, doing the show Sunday, and taking the red eye back so that I can be at Birdland Monday night. Jim, I hope you appreciate that. I know you do. Uh, anyway, this is a song called Planes. And it's from Billy's Place. Going more and more on planes. Feeling myself so. you're always there to meet me or wave me goodbye I wish that someday Altitude high Monday on a plane. Oh. 
Plains by Peter Allen. You know, kind of has some resonance now, doesn't it? And I just as I was singing, it's like, business is picking up. I'll be there tomorrow and back the next. And that's exactly what I'm going to do on Saturday. I'll be there Sunday and back the next day. So uh, I, I love it. I love the business is picking up. Speaking of that, um, I'm really excited to tell you that I have uh, an engagement coming up that I'm so proud of. Uh, you know, Birdland has been my performance home in New York for almost 20 years, and it's always uh, they've always provided me a place to do my shows. But coming up on uh, August 5th, 6th, and 7th, I'll be headlining on the main stage of Birdland uh, in that main spot, time slot of the week, really for the first time. I'm doing five shows, one on Thursday night, the 5th, and two shows on Friday and Saturday. And I'm just thrilled that I'm headlining with my trio, Tom Hubbard on bass and Mark McLean on drums. And we have a wonderful show planned for you. So I hope that all of you in New York or nearby will buy a ticket and come to Birdland and let me entertain you live in the room. Uh, could you throw that graphic up there, Jeff? Isn't that nice? Uh, so that's me in a nice suit and tie, and I'll be wearing a suit and tie that night. And uh, just uh, to get a ticket, don't hesitate. Go to the Birdland website. It's birdlandjazz.com, and you can order your tickets online. It's very reasonable. I think the cover charge is $30. And uh, you'll have a great time because Birdland is the premier jazz uh, corner of the world. And uh, it's a great place to see any artist. And it'll be a great place to see me those three nights. So I'm thrilled. Spread the word. I'm ex so excited about this engagement coming up. So I want all of you to come. Well, that's the show for tonight, everybody. One more time, if you're able to tip, please do that. Venmo or PayPal. I want to thank all of you for tuning in. You've been so loyal week after week. Next week, I'm thinking, I really got to start thinking about the song list, but, uh, you know, we've been thinking for a while about doing a, a, a tribute to, like, great songs from Disney films. So you think that's a good idea? Uh, suggestion did somebody say Disney? Okay. So here's the deal. I mean, there's lots of great, you know, When You Wish Upon a Star, lots of great, great songs, period. Um, so... Write to me on Facebook Messenger and tell me what your favorite, just help me out. Tell me what Disney songs you like. I won't guarantee that I'll do all of them, but I need to compile a list and come down to a list of a smooth 11 or 12 songs that I can learn by next week. But I think it'll be a really fun show, especially with your help. Uh, so uh, that last song was Planes. This one is about a boat, another mode of transportation. This is for my friend Christine Romine Clifton, who lives in North Carolina, uh, who has been the fan of Billy's Place, from the, like some of you, from the very, very beginning. Came to New York last month to visit, uh, so we got to meet face to face. Anyway, she requested this song that I recorded, again, on my album called Jazz Live of which I have four or five copies there. So uh, as I said at the beginning of the show, this is a great song by George and Ira Gershwin that I'll leave you with. There's a boat leaving soon from New York from Porgy and Bess. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> There's a boat that's leaving soon for New York. Come with me, uh, that's where we belong. Sister, you and I can live the high life in New York. Come with me, uh, there we can't go wrong. Sister, I'll buy you the swellest man. Fifth Avenue uh, and through Harlem we'll go strutting, we'll go and strutting there'll be nothing too good for you uh, I'll buy you silks and satins in the latest Paris style and the blues you'll be forgetting, you'll be forgetting no more fretting, nothing but smiles there's a boat that's leaving soon for New York
strutting, we'll go a strutting. There'll be nothing too good for you. I'll buy you silks and satins in the latest Paris style. And the blues you'll be forgetting, and you'll be forgetting no more fretting. Nothing but smiles. Nothing but smiles. Nothing but smiles. There's a boat that's leaving soon for New York. Come along with me. That's where we belong. That's. Good night, everybody. Have a great, great week. See you next week.